And now for our application. We have 56 out of 100. I'll write it like I did for our daily ticker, 56 hundredths. And we also know that that is also 56% because per means out of and cent means 100, just like we have 100 cents in our dollar. And so I'm going to do it my way. Now you can do it a different way, but my way is I like to look at if, see if the number on the, the numerator and the denominator, if they're both even, I just keep cutting them in half. So I'm going to divide by 2. I know half of 56 is 28. Half of 100 is 50. Well, they are still both even. So half of 28 is 14. Half of 50 is 25. Now I might list my factors. 1, 14, 7, 2. Any of those are factors? I have 5, 25, and 1. Do I have any common factors? No. Well, then 14 25ths is our simplest form. And because I cut this in half two times, the way it looks on our concrete representation, there's when I cut the 100 in half once of two sets of 50. And then when I cut it in half again, I get four sets of 25. Now, if I would have listed all of my factors at the beginning, I would have found out that was four was there. But my brain just makes it easier doing an extra step there. And then I have 14, um, 10, 14. This is 14 25ths. And that is the same ratio as what this would be. And we'll get into ratio a little bit later in the school year. But I just want to start introducing that, that um, vocabulary word. All right.